We all know tempais usually want to go second. There are times where they can go first and that's exactly what we're going to do today. This is what we're going to be working with today. A tempai dragon going first deck. Now here we have a notification to the normal tempai deck. However, we've added cards like D Shifter, Cosmic Cyclone. We've removed a few of the cards like the board breakers. We have added Sang and Kaiho, which basically makes them miss their main phase on their turn two. So anything that could disrupt our opponent on their second turn for when we have our board up with a seal and maybe one or two trap cards to play on their turn. Without further ado, let's get this show on the road. We win the coin toss, we go first, our first game. Here we go. Okay, so we have a good start up. We have Pyro, which is probably going to get ashed. So we're going to start off with D Shifter. We're going to D Shifter straight off the bat. Get its effect off. And then we're going to go into our normal combo with Pyro, which is going to activate effect to get Sangan Summoning onto the field. And then with Sangan Summoning, we are going to continue from there. So activate our Sangan Summoning twice to get its effect off. We're going to get Chundra into the hand. And then we are going to discard. Now, this is going to go to the Banish Power. Sending Padra isn't going to do much. So let's let's banish our second D Shifter, which is crazy. But we don't look for a third turn anyway. So we're going to special summon Chundra. And then from here, go into Heretic Seal, set Forbidden Droplet and pass. And then we set Forbidden Droplet. And then we are going to pass. Jury, is that a Street Fighter reference? I doubt it, but yep. Okay, we end our turn. Now let's see what our opponent has to offer us. So D Shifter currently has him locked into sending his cards to the Shadow Realm. So this is probably why he's actually taking long to actually figure out what to do right now. I would normally get Fadra out, and Fadra will special summon from the graveyard. But since we have no cards in the graveyard, uh, we don't know what to go with but so we're gonna start with this we're gonna tribute heretic seal we're gonna bring sang and summoning back to our hand and then the heretic skill is going to special summon chandra since we have fadra in our hand yep activate sang and kaimen again uh, da -da -da. yes please we can get Genroku to our hand and actually play Genroku. I think because we're going for the OTK here, we're going to discard Sangan Kaimen. Special summon Genroku because it was drawn to the hand. Now Genroku is going to activate effect, tribute itself to the graveyard. Thankfully, now we get graveyard effects off. Yeah, that's fine. We still have uh, Fadra. So that's why I was asking. The call of the grave, uh, called by the grave. We still get to normal summon Fadra. And then we go into battle phase and basically end the game from here. So Chandra will attack. Uh, we don't activate the first one. We activate the second one, which is going to get our Pydra out onto the field. Pydra is going to get set a Sangan Summoning. Um, not Sangan Summoning. It's going to get a Sangan Kaimen onto the field. So we set Sangan Kaimen. There we go. And then we just attack and end the game from here. So Pydra and Fadra attack. And then we synchro summon using Chandra. We're gonna go into a Biden Dragon. Let's use Pydra. It's surprising that he hasn't given up yet. Uh, activate the effect of Biden Dragon. That's gonna bring back our Pydra. Yes, yes. And there we go. Yep, nice. All right, let's go. First game of the day, first victory. Let's get going. Win the coin toss. Let's go. Damn, this is our second game of the actual recording session. And we've won both coin tosses. So we get to go first in both games. Oh, again, same board, same sleeves. Nice, everyone's just using it, I guess. I want to buy it, man. All right, so we start off with a Dora Dora and a Chandra, which is Great start. So we're going to go Dora Dora. Are we going to get negated here? Yep, we're going to get Ash Blossomed. Sangan Kaiman basically does the same effects. Uh, yes, we want Pydra. Oh no, wait. I was going to go Genroku. I fucked up. Why? Ah, because my mind was ahead. I was like, I'm going to get Genroku tribute, Genroku go into Pydra, then set Sangan Summoning. That was the idea. But now we fucked up. So I have to go into Chundra and Dora Dora. We still get Heretic Seal. Yep, that's fine. But 
the problem is we're not gonna be able to get the Sangan summoning which it doesn't really matter since it's not really our turn anyway it only protects on our main phase one this is a basic heretic seal and pass we have a max C for next turn future silence we kind of want to wait until the battle phase to activate heretic seal unless we really have to use it like if it gets targeted by an effect or you know okay this card cannot be destroyed by monster effects as well that's kind of rough because every time we special summon from the graveyard he's going to be able to discard one spell card the, the thing is though he needs to have a spell card in his hand to discard otherwise it's just going to be a problem because every time we resummon from the graveyard like chundra or biden he's just going to send it to the graveyard and end our combo there so we need to see how it goes that's his normal summon he's going to go into battle phase and then we're going to activate effect however i do believe he's going to be able to negate heretic seal but that's not what matters right now we're going to tribute itself and then we're going to try and send them back target one for increases it's also blah, 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 blah. ah shit if he negates it that's a problem yep so we don't get our do we still get it oh because it's the second effect that pops off so instead of returning it we're going to get the second effect that pops off which is actually uh great however yes it's amazing so we're gonna get fader onto the field now we're gonna force him to attack our transcendent dragon here so we get chandra as well chandra is gonna special summon itself this is why we go first and then we're gonna activate effect hopefully 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 yep there we go sang biden dragon comes out biden dragon activates effect bring back fadra yep and then he's gonna be asked to attack again. Ah, oh, shit. No, 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 Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Synchro into Transcendence Dragon. And with that, he can't be targeted when in the battle phase. So now he is forced to attack us. We don't get, we don't get affected by cards in the battle phase. So now he's just gonna probably end up giving up there we go that we got rid of his card as well and we have transcendent dragon on the field i feel like this is what tempai should be playing more instead of going second and hoping for the best okay let's max see this gandora pull the nash oh that top deck ash came in clutch that top deck ash came in clutch get fucked i'm sorry that Max C needs to be banned for this exact reason. Oh, what are you going into now? Typhon? That's fine. We, and we pull a cosmic cosmic cyclone. Yep, that's fine. You see, if we had Sangan summoning, if I played it properly, he would not be able to do this. Well, actually, he would because it's not my main phase. Two cosmic cyclones. This is only destroyed by monster effects, which is funny because. We're gonna get rid of it with a spell effect. Banish his shining sarcophagus. So gains one one thousand what? Oh, you special summoning it. Well, yeah. How about no? How about no? Two cosmic cyclones. This is some stone shit. Like, bro. Bro, this 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 tempai deck is infused with your soul. All right, now we just go with our normal tempai effects because everything is under three thousand. We're gonna Sangan summoning, and then the moment we get Sangan summoning out, we are clear. He has no cards in hand. He only has a Typhon, which is easily destroyable. He has no materials on it. We are Gucci for this game as well. We're going to get Chundra into the hand, and then this card Dora Dora. Yep. Chundra is going to special summon itself. Bang. And then we are going to proceed to battle phase. We don't activate the first effect. We activate Chundra's second effect to get Fadra onto the field. So we don't destroy any of our cards while doing this. We could do this, but it doesn't really matter. Let's just get another... Pff, fuck knows. Let's get another Fadra just in case. Bang. So now we go into Chundra and Fadra is going to go into our biden dragon just like this and then activate biden dragon's effect 
to special summon. We already have a Fadra on the field, but sure, we'll go with Fadra again. I think with one more attack, we could get a Biden in. Yep, there we go. So that's a set. Our second Biden is going to special summon itself as well. Destroy a card. Yes. No, 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 no. Gonna synchro into our second Transcendent Dragon. With one of the Bidens and the Fadra. We're gonna attack with Transcendent Dragon now. So we could clear the board and get some damage in. Like this. Yep, I think this is game. From here, we would have went into Trident Dragon. But I think everything else can attack as well. So there is no point and direct attack and end the game. Let's go. Going first, Tenpai feels so much better. Oh, there's like sirens and shit when you actually kill off that board. Game number three, let's go win the coin toss. Damn, that's three out of three. And imagine winning a coin toss only to select first as a Tenpai deck. All right, let's see what we have. We have a Chundra, we have a Sangan summoning. Uh, that is absolutely fine. We have three interrupts, which is good. Now, do we get... Nope. Okay. From here, we get to add a Pydra, please. Nope. Okay. Yep. Nice. I need Pydra and I need Chundra. That's the problem. And we're going first. I think we get rid of Ash. Mainly for the reason of him having an Ash so we can cool by it. Just in case. Okay. Yeah. We're going to get Sang and Kaiho and set it onto the field. That's what we're going with. That's going to be one of our trap cards. Then we're going to Chundra. Set Imperm. Set Hold By. Play Heretic Seal. And then we end our turn. So we have three interrupts in our back row. We have a card that could literally send any card he has back to his hand. And we also have a card that could end his main phase. Let's see how, we, how this game goes. He's going to start with playing... Uh, a Labyrinth Spell and Trap card on my end phase. Sure. Already doing Labyrinth stuff. Oh, there we go. And now he's going to try pop off with it. So I'm going to activate this now. Get rid of this card. Fadra is going to activate its effects. To bring out Chundra. We're going to force him to attack as well if we can pop off. Now none of his... He ended phase. Ah, damn. <laughs> Go into Biden. Biden is going to activate effect and bring back Fadra. Now, we go into Transcendence Dragon with our Biden and our Fadra, which is going to give us immunity in the battle phase. So, now we have that covered. Yes, let's bring that to attack position because we want to destroy it. No, we don't get affected. We don't get affected. I don't know what he's trying to do. But none of that is going to work. None of that should work. And then this should not work. Oh, he just got rid of all my cards. I should be unaffected by whatever the fuck he just played. So. Oh, and then he gets rid of. Ah. Fucking labyrinths are so annoying, man. Like, during your main phase one. It was my main phase one. Fire dragon monsters you control are unaffected by your opponent's activated effects. That's every effect. Yes, thank you for attacking more than three times. I still have Biden Dragon that could come onto the field as well. And then we're going to go into this. Transcendent Dragon, which is going to protect us in the battle phase now. Destroy a card. Wait, why isn't he destroyed? I'm not going to destroy. He's going to have to attack. So, Because it's only for this turn. If I use Trident Dragon's effect, it's only for this turn. So he's going to have to destroy both our cards. And now I'm left with Transcendent Dragon on the field. You're going to have to attack again. Oh, there we go. Typhon. Typhon's like he's out, bro. Ugh. But one weakness. One little... Weakness that he does is game over. No, oh, there we go. This card here should not be able to hit my cards. That should not be able to happen. I don't know why each time he plays this. It's my main phase one. 
he gets to pull this off. This this fucking shit is stupid. He only needs to attack with two, and it's game over. Because of that one card that shouldn't even affect me. Yeah. Wait, let's see. When he attacks, do I get activated effects? No. Okay. Bro, Labyrinth is disgusting. Even though you go first, it like forces it out. Forces it out every single time. All right, so what are we doing here? We have everything we need. It's just going to be the basic uh, Heretic Seal combo. So Pydra brings out what we need if he lets us. Nope. Okay, so we're not going to be able to get our Sangan summoning onto the field, which is rather unfortunate, but it's fine. We just Heretic Seal pass. Heretic Seal is going to be our end board here and then we will end our turn now we can't play frame gear because we're not going second obviously you might want to change frame gear in this deck because it's actually useless when going first kai when you're editing this add this in if you're going to build the first going tenpai deck remove frame gear you don't need it oh shit we got U Bell. There's so many U Bells, bro. Like U Bell and fucking Labyrinth cards. U Bell and Labyrinth decks in Platinum right now. Like, can you guys just get to fucking Master so I, we could pave the way as well? Now, you see, if we had Ice Barriers, we'd be chilling right now. We would have had a Spell Negate. We would have had a Board Negate. We would have had every Negate. And everything would have been nice. Yeah. We want a Tribute itself. Should have waited for the battle phase. I mean, but then he doesn't even attack as you bell. That's the problem. Nightmare pain. Erasing from your brain. Making like you love me. Come on, baby, touch me. Show me where it hurts. There we go. Chandra's on the field, and now he's going to enter. Nope, he's going to play another nightmare pain. Now he's going to end turn, and in my turn, we get a max C. Now we could go with Dora Dora, and then bring Pydra out so we can actually get Sangan summoning onto the field. Hopefully, if we are allowed to do so, yes we are. Okay, so Pydra is going to be our... Never mind. Apparently not. If you do this, make sure you get Genroku so you could actually special summon him, tribute him for Pydra. This is the second time I'm doing this in this video. We're gonna go into battle phase. Attack with Phadra. Yep. He's going to activate Spirit of Your Bell. We're just gonna summon as many things as we can. So Genroku and Pydra are gonna come out onto the field, which is going to enable us not to get destroyed. Pydra is gonna get Sangan summoned onto the field. And then we are going to be Gucci, even though we don't need it right now. That's our second one. There we go. Let's use this to go into our Bident. If this card is destroyed, I could spe he could just keep special summoning himself, which is a problem. Uh, we're going to go into this. How does one get rid of your bell? That's what I want to know. I wonder if Transcendence actually affects you, Bell. So here's what we're going to do. Biden Dragon is going to destroy his spirit of you, Bell. He's going to bring something back. Then we're going to go Q Bell again. Oh, because this is a spell trap. Okay, so we're going to get rid of one of his Nightmare Pains. Now, let's see. So he still has his board thingy up. We are going to activate your effect. To get a crew belt onto the field. Let's use this instead. With crew belt, we're gonna destroy this U Bell, or in fact, we're gonna destroy his nightmare pain. And then, so we're gonna activate effect again. Of Pyra, we're gonna go into let's see, Trident Dragon. We're like pulling all the stops here. Now, Trident Dragon is going to activate effect. We're gonna send our Sangan summoning and our uh, Transcendent Dragon. Yes, we're gonna activate effect. Give it to Trident. And now 
we're going to activate Transcendent Dragon's effect to summon himself to get rid of Yubel. Are we doing this right? That's my question. Is it just his back row again? No, okay, we're going to destroy Yubel. And now, we end the game? Or can he still activate? Okay, we end the game. Okay, there we go. Oh my god. That was crazy. I thought he was going to be able to special summon himself after we destroyed him. But apparently not. So, yeah. Nice win against Yubel. Draw